Ariel, my love. In the past, I had trouble thinking about my future. A wanderer searching for my place in the world. I did not imagine that this day would ever happen. In you, I have found my home, my love, my mate. With you, I feel whole, full, and alive. You're more than I could ever have hoped for. Beautiful, intelligent, caring, funny, and a project manager. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd be so lucky to find my best friend to spend the rest of my life with. Fate truly brought us together through our own journeys across and around the world, and I'm so happy that I found you. From the beginning, being with you felt so genuine and easy. I almost think instantly, even in the first date, we were joking and giving each other a hard time. It was like we had known each other for ages, even when we just met. You have made me feel more loved than I could have ever thought was possible. I hope to show you that same love and be the wife that you deserve. I promise to grow with you, to be the best partner, cheerleader, and friend to you, and to be the best mother to our future teeny Grissinis. <laughs> family and friends. By the power vested in me, my First Nation ministry in the state of Texas, I now formally pronounce you husband and wife. Yeah. Dario, make us the brown. Ariel said, I think, I think if, if Dario and I broke up, y'all would rather have Dario. And Wendy looked at her and said, no, we wouldn't choose Dario over you. It's just you'd have a really weird relationship with your new brother. So Dario, you're stuck with us. You're stuck with us. I sent them a little passage this morning from 1 Corinthians 13. Everyone knows um, the, that one, it's, uh, if you have not love, you have nothing. If you chase riches, you have nothing. So I want you to focus on, your, on the goal of having love, to, to being kind to each other, to being patient with each other, and being hopeful in your life together. <laughs>